Harvey Becker here coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we're in Felton, California. We are at the Bigfoot Discovery Center here in the Redwood Forests of California, home to Bigfoot. Of course, there's lots of Bigfoot sightings all over the country. Different regions have their own Bigfoots. There's the skunk ape in Florida, the grassman in Ohio, different Bigfoots. Of course, my own in my own homeland of the Appalachian Mountains, we have Bigfoot sightings as well. But often when I think of the original Bigfoot, I think of the West Coast here, the Washington, the woods of California. It seems like that's a lot where a lot of the early popular Bigfoot uh, Bigfoot uh, sightings occurred. A lot of the early prints and video of Bigfoot were from. So I'm very interested in checking out the Bigfoot Discovery Center here in Felton. So please follow me. See so the carved Bigfoot here out front. A little baby Bigfoot up there on his shoulders. Welcomed here to the museum. You can see the Gigantopithecus skulls there. Of course, Gigantopithecus, a real ancient ape that some believe is the Bigfoot today. This is a mountain gorilla, so it kind of compares how small that is to the Gigantopithecus. And then look at this little fuzzy guy. It's like a little Bigfoot here with a mustache. So that's a Teddy Roosevelt bear. Little hunting outfit. And we got some boxes of cereal, orangutan O's, and Gorilla Munch. You can see a lot of pop culture items here related to Bigfoot. We have a, it's a Bigfoot Christmas ornament you put on your Christmas tree. And then something in there called a Sasquatch egg. Egg legend. What does it say? Oh, it contains egg, exactly one egg. So that's what I'm trying. Would you say egg allegedly? <laughs> it egg allegedly. No, no, no. It says exactly one Sasquatch egg. Is that the Sasquatch egg right there? The egg with the, the Bigfoot feet on it? There's some pewter Sasquatch figures from a game called Shadowrun. Also has it's Wendigo and Sasquatch. I don't know. It looks like. They both kind of look like Sasquatch. I thought the Wendigo was typically portrayed with antlers. This is one for crimes against the Beastie Boys. That's uh, the Sasquatch from one of the Beastie Boy videos. I forget uh, which video that is. I think it's actually Triple Trouble is the name of the, the name of the rap song. Look at this postcard here. There's a Sasquatch in front of the truck there. It says Sasquatch Beach Patrol. Now here's your favorite uh, Sasquatch. You like the... I love the Bumble the, so much. The Bumble from... Yes. Uh, I think the Bumble may have been a lot of first people's introduction to the Yeti or Abominable Snowman. Of He's course, my favorite. He terrorized Rudolph and his friends. And then, you remember what they did at the end? They pulled out his teeth and made him their slave. I... Uh, really? Yeah, because he was the only <laughs> one that could, that could put the star on top of the Christmas tree. And they had Hermie. They pulled out his teeth? Hermie pulled out his teeth, yeah, so he couldn't, oh, so he couldn't eat anyone. Apparently my childhood brain did not grasp that. I'm just you like, look how cute! Look at the Rudolph with the reindeer! You don't remember the part? No, okay. no. Oh, look back there. There's a magic card. The Mountain Yeti. He has a mountain walk and protection from white. He is, what is his uh, power? He's a 3-3 for four mana. So not the best card, but still pretty cool to have a... Uh, a Yeti represented in Magic the Gathering. Some Harry and the Hendersons books and movies. Very popular Sasquatch in the 80s. See his big warm smile there. Got some Harry toys there, a little kid riding on his back. Then we've got another Bigfoot uh, board game. The Bigfoot game there. It says Bigfoot is on the loose. And then look at this. This uh, mask here it says it's from the film uh, Ghost of Echo Mountain. I'm uh, not uh, familiar 
with that film that I may have to check out at some point. I guess that was the mask used for Sasquatch in that film. You like that one? Look how cute it is. You just like the I always find the cute ones. You just like the cute Bigfoots, I think. Oh yeah, some <laughs> artwork here by children. It says Bigfoot rules. Spook is being mean in this drawing. <laughs> oh, I like that guy. What's coming out of him? Well, that's Nessie. He's got the Loch Ness monster. Oh, right I thought it was coming out of like. No, I think he's just hanging out with Nessie. Oh. It's big green Bigfoot. I guess he's maybe camouflaged. If you know where where does this big green Bigfoot comes from, leave a comment in the comment section. It says made by Strangeco. Oh, it looks like he's mad at this guy from the lumber company from, for cutting down his home. See all the different styles of Sasquatch there, different portrayals. This one has like mean red eyes. This one's got kind eyes. That one there, blue eyed Sasquatch. See the big plushy Bigfoot there, laying in the corner. I love these, the weekly world news. So sad that we've lost the weekly world news. Talk about such crazy stories as Bat Boy, but I also loved Bigfoot. This is Bigfoot shot by Montana police. The first Bigfoot captured. Oh, then Bigfoot talks. I actually got an interview with Bigfoot. It says, I had Bigfoot's baby there. We see the half human, half Bigfoot baby there. And then second Bigfoot shot dead by cops. Oh, you can see it mentions Bat Boy there. Adventures of Bat Boy. I've seen these in a few different locations. These are animatronic uh, ape heads. I, probably want, I want to get my hands on one of these one day. The, it was a talking ape. It used to like blink its eyes and move its lips. These are toy nunchucks that were left by a Sasquatch. I guess these are trading objects. I think a Sasquatch will leave items that they think you will like. So they've said this person was trading a Sasquatch. He would leave graham crackers for Sasquatch and Sasquatch would leave him things, including his nunchucks. Sasquatch thought that uh, he would enjoy having his own set of nunchucks. You just imagine Sasquatch using nunchucks in a fight. That's a pretty crazy thought. Let's see, it's more of the famous Bigfoot prints here. It's a very distinct one there. You can make out all the toes. And uh, I think this is a hand print. I've seen that before where Bigfoot must have put its hand in the mud. There's an article on the Patterson Gimlin film. Oh, yeah. The most famous uh, footage of a Bigfoot ever found. You see the Bigfoot walking. And that one frame where he turns and looks. It's like the most endearing image of Bigfoot that we have in pop culture. Yeah, here's the photographic breakdown where you can see the Bigfoot, female Bigfoot walking away. Turns to look at the camera and then yeah that frame right there with the big foot there with its arms outstretched looking over its shoulder that's kind of the most famous image of a bigfoot in existence there's some details from the film blown up detail of the face there then an artist enhancement kind of bringing out the details showing what bigfoot might look like a little more detail closer up this shows here, actual how they took a clip from the Patterson Gillen film where you can see the Bigfoot's foot and how it compares to casts that were actually found in the same area. More skull comparison there, the human skull, the Australopithecus, the early human. It's a bonobo. It's like a kind of an ape similar to a chimpanzee. This is handprint discovery by Dr. Grover Krantz. Dr. Grover Krantz, interesting fact about Dr. Krantz is that um, his skeleton was on display at the Smithsonian. I, I don't think it is, I think it is currently off exhibit, but uh, Dr. Krantz, one of the top Bigfoot researchers, had his skeleton preserved actually in the Smithsonian uh, 
Natural History Museum. Compare the big footprint there to some other animals. Some tinier animals there. I think that's a dog print. You can see how it's vastly larger. I think that's a deer print there. See this giant replica Bigfoot face right there. You can see his black eyes. He's kind of a darker complexion to him. Oh, this photo up here. So the Bigfoot do have the darker black fur and features like this one. Cardboard cut out there of Bigfoot and then have Chewbacca, kind of a space Bigfoot in his own right. I had heard that he was based on a dog, but actually, you know, does have quite a few Bigfoot-like qualities. Bigfoot mask there, love the design. This is Bigfoot diorama outside on the left. Okay. Says these are believed to be tracks from a baby Bigfoot. So found in the vicinity of larger tracks that would have been found alongside of an adult Bigfoot. Interesting display out here. Not only do we have this very interesting skull there, but got uh, a Fiji mermaid and a jackalope. You can see the Fiji mermaid there. Of course, the classic sideshow gaff. Originally used a fish and a monkey sewn together to put on display. P.T. Barnum famously displayed his own uh, Fiji mermaid. And they still are found at almost every sideshow to this day. I even have a few in my own collection. And of course the jackalope there. The most famous examples of freak taxidermy or crypto taxidermy where they took the antlers of a deer, attached them to the head of a rabbit, and it looked somewhat like a real creature that could possibly exist, and the legends uh, went on from there. Here is a Bigfoot diorama out here if we look through the glass. Oh, there you see the Bigfoot there lurking back in the trees. Oh, see the Bigfoot there on the back of the door. So thank you for joining me here today at the Bigfoot Discovery Center. I did not show the entire museum. The owner had asked that I did not film everything in the museum. So some of it was okay, but you would rather people come out and see the entire thing for themselves. So definitely would encourage you to come out here to the Bigfoot Discovery Center. A very, a very large, very comprehensive collection of Bigfoot and Bigfoot items. A lot of a lot of in-depth material here on Bigfoot. So come out, check it out for yourself. Also, it looks like there is do they are having a GoFundMe here to try to keep the museum up and running. If you want to check that out as well. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Let you know uh, when new videos are coming out. If you'd like to see other locations I've been, please uh, check out the other locations on this YouTube channel. And uh, until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.